In my saucepan I've got two carrots, two leeks, one stick of celery, gently sweating off. And this is the base of my turkey and leek and carrot pie. Now the, when I say pie, I'm going to do something light because, you know, after Christmas we're all sort of um, feeling fat and lethargic. I'm going to make my pastry just using phyllo pastry. We're going to line a Pyrex dish with our um, vegetable and our turkey uh, stuffing and sausage meat. We're going to line our bowl with that and on the top we're just going to butter some phyllo pastry scrunch up the sheets and rest it on the top. I'm about to add some salt and pepper here. Salt enhances the flavour. Pepper adds a bit of spice. Just have a quick taste. Carrots are softening up nicely, leeks already softened. What I'm going to do now is add a splash of cream. Now I've just added to my vegetables uh, about 100 millilitres of cream and about 150 millilitres of turkey stock that I had knocking around the house. I'm going to chop some mushrooms, throw that in in a minute, and add a bay leaf. I've added about 100, 150 grams of mushrooms. I'm just going to let that soften for a minute. Now in my leek mix, I'm just going to crush a small clove of garlic, just to give a bit of flavour. Give it a stir in. This is actually tasting beautiful now. Um, you can smell the garlic. You can taste the garlic in the cream. It's added to the leeks and the carrots. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this off the hob, turn this off on the hob, and then we're going to let it cool down. I'm going to mix these vegetables in with my turkey, my stuffing, and my um, sausage meat. And then we'll layer up a Pyrex bowl and put some filo pastry on the top and then bake that in the oven for 25 minutes. Now I'm making a little roux here. I've got a little bit of butter in the pan. I'm stirring in some flour to make that thick. I don't want it too high. And we're going to actually thicken our sauce up. So what I'm going to do, I've got my flour here. Mix it in with the butter and form a paste. When you're happy with that, what I'm going to do with that by toasting away, I'm going to use the last of my stock. So there's 100 ml of stock going in here. Now, because you've fried the flour with the butter, when you stir, the flour will now dissolve into the stock and form a sauce, a thick sauce. Just keep stirring it. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a touch more cream. About 100 millilitres. Just keep stirring that. Low heat until it thickens up. Now we've let our sauce thicken up now. So that's cream and the turkey stock that I had and then what we did before that we made a roux of flour and butter to make a thick buttery paste which we stirred our stock into and then we stirred the cream in on top of that. Now all I'm going to do is just let's turn this off and I'm going to check the seasoning. I'm going to put a touch, touch of pepper in there, a touch of salt.
stir that in. Let's have another taste. Right, that's lovely. That's ready to mix into our pie mix. So there we have our turkey, sausage meat and stuffing pie mixed in with our vegetables which we sauteed off. We had two carrots, celery stick and two leeks. Now all I'm going to do is just pour my cream sauce over the top. This is additional sauce to what we've already put into our leeks. You saw me add cream to that earlier on. I just wanted a thicker sauce, that's all. So this is my last one. Just using the last of my butter up. Just quickly paint. Fill in the pastry, don't worry about any tears, we're not going to be neat. All we're doing is taking it in our hands and lightly scrunching it to form like a little tissue rag. And then all we're going to do is put this on here, get the rest of the butter that we've got, just dab that on the top. And that's your pie topping done with the filo pastry. So here is our pie. We've layered over the pie, the turkey and the vegetables with a couple of sheets. We've brushed the sheets first with melted butter of the filo pastry and then we layered them out. We laid a few layers over the top of that and then we took the rest of the sheets. We had eight, eight sheets left so we used them and we scrunched them up after first melting butter on them. Scrunched them up into like a soft rag type um, consistency and then put them on the top of our pie. And this is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to bake this in the oven for about 20 minutes and I'm going to be cooking this about um, 200 degrees centigrade. After 20 minutes this is our beautiful turkey leftover pie. Now this has actually created a very crisp, lovely top, if you excuse my finger. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to serve this up. So that's digging here. And that is lovely and flaky. Look at that. So here is our served up uh, filo pastry pie. I'm just going to have a quick um, taste to see what it tastes like. Grab a bit of the meat. Lovely. Have a bit more. A bit of carrot this time. Carrots have a bit of texture to them. They're not um, boiled and all soggy. It's quite a lot of meat in here with the um, garlic infused into the cream. You should really give this one a go. By using the filo pastry you've made uh, this pie exceptionally light. Even though we put butter on the filo pastry and we used a little splash of cream it's a lot more healthy than if you'd used uh, flaky pastry. I hope you um, enjoy this recipe and you go on to make it.